Next slide. And this is, there's seven habits. You guys gotta read this book. All right, I'm just kind of scrapping the surface. I only have 20 minutes. But um, this is, this is the habit number three. So here are some ways you can practice putting first things first. All right, because identify a quadrant number two activity in your life. What's a quadrant two activity in your life that you've been neglecting? Because we neglect it, we push it to the side. Some of you it's working out, some of you it's, it's getting better under, under craft, some of you it's self-development, right? We can always read a book tomorrow, I don't want to read it tonight. Right, we, we keep pushing to the side. So what are these things that you've been neglecting last year to get you to the next level? Let's, let's, let's quit with neglecting that. All right, create your own time management matrix. Just create this, so for the next three days, check this out. How much time do you spend in each quadrant? So just, just when you get back, to, you know, you get, get back to LA, just, just jot down of whatever you're doing on your schedule, what quadrant does that fall in? Is it one, two, three, or four? Most likely, if you guys are not doing crap in the business, you're focusing on, on not two. It's usually one, two, or four, or one, three, and four. And that like blew my mind, it's like, wow, why is that the case? Because it's not urgent, but it's very important. Like uh, for us, it's just human nature to answer a phone, who cares, you can call them back. Right, you, you call people all the time and they don't answer. So why, why the hell do you have to feel like, even when you're driving or texting, you have to read the text right away? Is that crazy? Yep. You can't wait five minutes? But that's human nature, so we have to step away from that and be, you know, we have to, we have to make sure that we're stepping away from that, we're doing things that, you know, quadrant two, and just do that for the next three days, guys. This is like stuff that you can actually use and analyze your time with, it's gonna be awesome. And you'll see like, holy crap, I've been neglecting quadrant two for the entire year. Right, so I think this is a shift in, in what we do, and you know, this is, so whose first wealth pole is this? All right, this is awesome, because I'll show you what happened in our first wealth pole. All right, let's go to the next slide, check this out. So do that, can you guys do that for us for the next three days, or next next week? Yeah. yeah. Just, just jot them down, like what am I doing right now? Am I working out? Am I, am I getting better at my craft? So this is our, our first wealth pole in 2015. All right, those of you, see that cash flow right there? Those of you in that, you feel like you're in that position? Look at that, look at that. Uh, July 2015, zero. August, September, zero, zero, zero. You guys feel like that? Yeah. Hey, I did, I, that was us. Look what happened when we went to Wealth Bowl, though. In, in, in December, we made a decision, guys. We started, we made a decision. We implemented exactly what they told us. And we just made it happen. And we just, you can't be too smart for this business. Sometimes we, we overanalyze it. Oh, it's not attainable, we can't do that, you gotta keep doing this. Just quit, you know, we're telling you these things for a reason, guys. Implement whatever whatever breakthrough you guys had, please implement it, because that's exactly what we did. So what happened after we implemented it? Oh, we made, oh, look at our first month, guys, that's awesome, we're balling out. 32, 33, bam! All right, you know what, heads down, it's working. I don't care, because I'm gonna grow, I'm gonna get better, right? This is. I like what they talked about, it's all about making uh, deposits. You guys are making deposits right now. The, the thing is, it's an invisible bank. Like you can't see the deposits you're making right now. We, we saw it, we knew that we were growing because I've been in corporate America for nine years and I wasn't growing my mindset. And I knew I was just, I kept growing. I was, I was showing up to meetings, I was going to big events. You can't miss meetings guys. How else are you gonna grow your mindset? January, what do we make? Oh, there we go, we made, we made four figures baby. Right, kept our heads down because we knew we knew where the business was taking us. We knew our leaders had our backs. March, all right, now we're talking six six grand. Made six, and this is part time. We're working full time. We had kids. We had full time work. Right. Well, how are you scheduling your time if you guys are part time? We're full time mentality, and we we're still. I was working about 60, 70 hours a week in my warehouse. Bam. April, I just put that up because that's an old snapshot that I was showing my friends. It's funny because you know your friends are saying, look at 17 grand in April. Remember your friends that say, let me see some checks first. You guys have friends like that? Let me see some checks first and then, I'll, and then maybe I'll check it out. So that's why I took the snapshot because they wanted to see it. So I took the snapshot, I showed it to them. I'm like, hey, why are, you, why are you bragging, dude? Why, why is it all about the money? Why, why do you talk about money all the time? Like, that's, you know, that's tacky. That's tacky, and you wanted to see it. Now that I'm showing it to you, you don't want to see it? God damn. I'm showing it to you. Why are they all so uncomfortable?
people though. Why don't they want to see it? Because they know what they're doing right now. They don't have an opportunity to do that. That's right. I don't care how many hours you work. Yeah, you can right. work 48 hours. You can kill yourself working three jobs. You're not going to come close to that. Yep. I would be uncomfortable too. <laughs> like damn, I, I can't even. I have to like win the. I have to win a jackpot at Vegas to do it. <laughs> like my friend won like a twelve thousand dollar jackpot, and that was like the highlight of his year. I just worked hard and I just made it happen on my own. Who cares about luck? He probably, he probably spent a lot of money to make that 12 grand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> make it happen, guys. Yeah. yeah. Right? Next slide. <laughs> Bam, now we're making 20. Our goal was, it's funny because our first year, our first year, like, let's make 10,000. Oh, then, then, like, you know, we reached 10, let's, let's just make it 20 because, you know, that's business plan. Let's just put a number out there and make it. Who knows? <laughs> there it is. Now if we're making 20, now it's 30. When we hit 30, it's going to be 40. Why is he Chen made 41 and him and Sophia made 41? Yep. And the, you know the crazy thing about that is he was probably pissed. You guys are, are we, how happy were you made 41? How was that He could have made 50. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like how do you make this kind of money and you're like pissed? <laughs> like your vision is so small when you're working. Now like we're making 20, you saw this. You know none of our friends like that one on Instagram. <laughs> you ain't getting no likes. They should have a little, they should have a little category like who looked at it and didn't like it. <laughs> Expose all their names. You know they're looking at that. They didn't like, none of them liked it. None of my high school friends, none of my best friends, did none of them like that picture. <laughs> I wouldn't like it either. <laughs> right? Next slide. What happens when you make this kind of money, guys? Bam! <laughs> I can afford Paul, baby! close business guys avocado that's subway man avocado extra that's extra put it on baby pile it on pile it on i'm in with this guys hey 2018 2018 can we get some guac